Hello and welcome, um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is where you are. Um, my name's Stu, this is Super Unboxing, and today we have a box which is uh, a new box, so never done the channel before, something fresh, something new, just what we like. Uh, that box is this. Yeah, it's um, uh, my geek box, um, mystery Funko Pop bundle. Um, as I say, brand new box, never had this one before, so you can pick uh, three pops, four pops, five pops, they're all complete mystery, you can't pick which ones you want. Um, if you go for the three pop bundle, uh, you're guaranteed to get one limited edition, limited edition pop and two commons, that's uh, for twenty four ninety nine plus postage. Uh, you can go for the four pops, which is two limited edition pops, uh, two commons for twenty nine ninety nine uh, plus postage again, <clears throat> or you can go for the five pop bundle, which is two limited edition pops, three commons, um, a mystery geeky gift, a uh, free gift, and uh, that's going to cost you thirty four ninety nine plus postage. So best part thirty eight quid if you go for the five. Five is what I've gone for. Um, I may I've got an active subscription with my Geekbox, which means I get ten percent off all Funko items uh, and a small site-wide discount as well. Uh, plus, I had a five-pound voucher uh, they gave me as a sorry because the last IGN box was so late coming out. They gave me a five-pound voucher, so I used that. So once all that had been taken into account, I actually got my box for twenty-nine pound seventeen delivered. Uh, which worked out at uh, five pounds and eighty-three pence per pop, so pretty cheap, pretty good going. So happy with that. So I thought that's worth getting for five eighty-three a pop. Hopefully, it's not something I've got already, but I have plenty of other kids who also collect pops. So I'm sure take them off my hands. Let's get this open. See which ones we have. Hopefully, hopefully some good ones. Hopefully worthwhile, so we can do it again if they're any good. Let's see. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, okay. So we've got. What we got here? Wow. Oh, is that it? This is what. Froggy. As I said, you. For the five pop bundle, you get a free mystery gift, a geeky gift, and what they've given me, unbelievably, is this rather fantastic um, Aquaman figure. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is pretty cool. That's a free gift. I'll be quite happy to buy that. But the free gift. So, how cool is that? That's really nice. Let's have a look at it. Uh, and I was just expecting something like a key ring or something. Okay. Let's put that away. This is the Justice League Throne of Atlantis. Uh, and this is the Aquaman from that. That is. <laughs> Probably the best free gift I've ever been given in my life. There he is. How cool is that? As I said, I only, only paid five pounds. Uh, what do I say? Five pound eighty-three uh, per pop, and to get that in there as well. I think that's pretty cool. Now, what do you think? I think it's a decent free gift. Let me know in the comments if you've um, got this same thing before. If this is what you've got as a free gift. I mean, it's even articulated, look. It's got a knee joint there. Um, doesn't turn or anything, but knee joints and uh, elbow joint. Swivels as well. Uh, head turn. All the way around. That's pretty cool. I like that. Aquaman. He can go on my shelf. Very nice. I like him. Okay, well, let's get on with what you came here for, which is the uh, pops and the free bubble wrap, which we always love to have. Right. We have, uh, okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. 
happy with that one. Uh, we have Dr. Zeus, Cat in a Hat. Uh, don't have this one. Um, love Cat in a Hat. Love the film. This is obviously based on the uh, books rather than the film. Um, showing the other ones in the back there you can get. Sam I Am, uh, Horton, Fox in Socks, and what's the other one? And Sam's Friend, well, of course. Let's uh, pop this one open and give you a closer look. I like that a lot. That's a really cool looking pop. So that's a good start. Very happy with that. Would certainly have paid uh, £5.83 for that. Definitely. Good start. Okay, well, I hope hopefully they're all like that. Awesome. Put him there. Put him there. Put him over here. There we go. Stick him over there. Pop number one. Let's go for number two. Okay, second one is uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Toy Freddy. Okay, that's decent enough. I don't have any Five Nights at Freddy. Freddy's Five Nights at Freddy. <laughs> I don't have any Five Nights with Freddy's um, Funko Pops at all, so this is new for me. All the ones in the back you can get there. Um, my kids are more into this than, than I am, but it's a nice and a pop. Nice bright green. There's some obviously some freakier looking ones than these in the series, but that's quite nice. I actually like that. Even though I'm not really into that, I still actually like the pop. Uh, I'll still collect some pops, even if I'm not into the actual program. Um, if they look decent looking pops and I like the look of them on display, I'll still get them. So he looks quite good. So I may even keep that one. Sorry, kids. I may have to keep them. Okay, that's pop number two. Let's go for number three. And we have uh, Jack Shepard from Lost. Okay. Never really got into Lost. I know, terrible. Um, so this doesn't really mean much to me. I'm sure if you were a Lost fan, uh, getting Jack Shepard will mean an awful lot to you than it does to me. Um, so this one, as I say, doesn't really mean much to me, so I'll probably either give this away or maybe trade it. And there he is. It's a pretty standard looking pop. Um, it's one of those sort of pops that is so standard that unless you're really into the series, you're not just going to buy this just to stand on your shelf because he's so plain, he's not really doing an awful lot. He's got his little backpack on there. But... Other than that, he's okay. There he is, okay. Better look. Yeah. Okay, so that's an okay one. Um, obviously, this is the risk you take with something like this. They also do the pop in the box monthly subscription. But obviously, with those ones, you can thumb down, thumbs down the ones you definitely don't want. So if I was doing that, this would have been one that I would have thumbs down, not really wanted. But that's the risk you take. So let's uh, get on to the next one. We have uh, Star Wars Rogue One. Is he Baze Malbus? Baze Malbus? Can't remember. Um, love Star Wars, so... Happy enough with that. Not one of the major ones I'll collect, but it's decent enough. Um, 
um, what you say for just under six quid a pop. Can't complain too much about it. Uh, it's a proper actual bubble head, this one. He's got his head wobbling about that one. It's not a nice stand at all. He's pretty cool. Hold his gun there. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, started off really well. Last couple could have been a bit better. Um, but, you know, is what it is. It's a mystery. It's potluck. So you can't go and complain when it doesn't quite go in your favour. Okay, last one. We have uh, another Star Wars. Um, oh, it's a director, Orson Krennic. So that's a pretty cool one. Star Wars Rogue One again. So I'm quite happy with that one. Uh, Showing on the back uh, the other ones you can get. Yeah, I don't mind that one. So it's finished on a good note. It would definitely have been one I would have bought. Um, eventually. Not really up on all the Star Wars pops. Simply because there's so many of them. I've got a few, but there's so many to collect that... Let's move these back. Right? So many to collect that I've not really started properly collecting them. He's a nice enough one, I like him. Let's get this light down, there we go. Pretty cool. Good display piece, that one. Out of the box or in the box, that would look quite good. So yeah, I like that one. Oh, forget that light. There we go. So, that was all five. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the find. Have I got good value for money there, do you think? Um, not going to meet everybody's taste, obviously. Everybody has different tastes. Everyone likes different pops. Um, for me, out of the five, um, we've obviously... Hang on. I just thought that, actually. I'm, to, I'm supposed to get two... Um, guaranteed limited edition pops. Um, I don't think that's a. I don't think it's a limited edition. It's the lost one. That's just that's the plain one. Uh, we've got the Toy Freddy's a glow in the dark. So I presume that's a limited edition. Um, that's just a plain one, I think. And cat in the hat. Um, oh, I see. Oh, yes. Uh, the cat in the hat is holding the uh, the goldfish on that one. So that's the uh, the different one because there's different cat in the hats in there. So I presume that's a limited edition one. Doesn't say, but I think that's probably it. So they're the. Uh, come on. They're the five I got. Pretty cool, I'm pretty happy with those. Um, stay. Cat of hat, definitely like that one. Um, Bayes Malbus, is that his name? It's a Star Wars one, not one of the ones I probably would have bought, but it's okay. Um, Glow in the Dark Freddy is nice enough. Wouldn't have bought the Jack Shepard Lost one, so that'll go us. But And uh, Awesome Krennic, decent enough, I like that one. So. All in all, pretty happy with those. Um, I'll have to check to see if that is that cat in the hat is a limited edition one. I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's go and check it out, actually. Wait yeah, one second. I'll just go and check that one out. Okay, I'm back. Uh, just check those out. And the cat in the hat one with the um, goldfish in the bowl holding that is a uh, limited edition pop. It sells for $15.99 on Pop in the Box. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, the glow in the dark, uh, Freddy, 
is again the limited edition and this sells for 15 quid on pop in the box uh, or Amazon I should say so with the other ones on there I said I paid £29.17 for these £5.83 per pop that's worth 15 that's worth 15 so that's 30 quid straight away if you say the rest um, you usually say tenner but they're not so well known ones I'd say about 8 for that so 38 for that I don't think it's going to be very much 5 or 6 so about 44 so about, that's about 50 quid at least worth of pops there so what I paid £29.17 um, fantastic value there really happy with that not particularly happy I'm not 100% happy with all the pops but um, for the price not bad whatsoever uh, we'll keep a few of those gift a couple of those away as well I suppose but other than that pretty happy with that if you want to give the my geek box um, mystery pops a go I'll uh, leave a link in the description uh, click on that and go and have a look at it see if that's for you and I think it's worth a go if you like a uh, mystery pops and you're not that bothered about which ones you get certainly worth having a go and I'll probably probably do this again and we'll see how the video goes if it's popular I'll get another one and we'll do it again um, yeah smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed the uh, video today uh, help the channel grow would really appreciate that uh, give it the old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video um, really important uh, really appreciate that if you could uh, like the video if you enjoyed it uh, leave a comment down below um, and I'll get back to you with anything you want to know on there um, turn the notification bell on um, so you get notified of when I release a new video which is every single day of the week usually three o'clock uh, weekdays and about nine nine thirty a.m. on a Saturday and a Sunday so um, thanks for tuning in I'll see you in the next video bye bye